What's going on guys, this is Joe, and I am back for the final time to clean up at least this version of our prize packs. We had a bunch of stuff left over from the end of 2017, so the beginning of 2018 was us cleaning up all of this. So here we are, I'm going to open them in this order, as I have been doing, if you've missed the other videos, there have been a number of them. And we've opened some pretty sweet stuff and some pretty not so sweet stuff. So hopefully we're on the sweet end of things, but we're gonna start with Ixalan, we're gonna start with a Varaska pack from Ixalan and see what we get. Fingers crossed, I want some good stuff. I would love it, it would be awesome. We start with a Ryle, Shining Aerosaur, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Nest Robber, Shorekeeper, River Herald's Boon, Prosperous Pirates, Demystify, Skymarch Bloodletter, Elaborate Fire Cannon is the first uncommon, Rigging Runner is the second, and Adanto Vanguard is the third. And our rare or mythic is a Kinjali Sunwing. Not a bad card at all. Not super valuable, but a good card. Behind the Sunwing, we get a foil rare in Tilanali's Skin Shifter. That is a sweet foiling pattern too. I'm sure you guys can see that. That is fantastic. Obviously the art is super bright and the fact that all those bright parts are the ones that are in foil is fantastic, plus it's a foil rare, so you can't go wrong. All around, really, really happy to have opened this. That is fantastic. What a great way to start. Behind the skin shifter, a swamp and a treasure token. We have three Ixalan packs this time, two rivals of Ixalan, but we make up for it with two unstable packs and then end it as always with one iconic masters and we will see what we get out of any and all we have a sure strike queen's commission blight keeper fathom fleet firebrand a storm sculptor blossom dryad ritual of rejuvenation cancel Blo uh, colossal dreadmaw trove of temptation is the first uncommon verdant rebirth is the second and a Deadeye Quartermaster is the third. And our rare or mythic is... A mythic in Vona, Butcher of Magan. Did we save all the value for the end? This is sweet. Behind Vona, we have... Holy crap! <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we did save all of it for the end. What the hell is this? Another foil rare in Conqueror's Galleon. Fantastic. First of all, beautiful card. What a gorgeous piece of art. What an amazing foiling pattern. It's a flip card. It flips into the Conqueror's Foothold, which is also in foil and looks amazing. Holy crap. What a great opening so far. We have the uh, flip token and the treasure token behind it. That is phenomenal. We have one more Ixalan pack left. Can it have more value in it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wish that I could have planned this myself and done it on purpose, but I didn't, and this is fantastic. We have a Bishop Soldier, March of the Drowned, Ryle, Depths of Desire, Commune with Dinosaurs, a Costly Plunder, Headwater Sentries, Hierophant's Chalice, Territorial Hammer Skull, Dire Fleet Interloper, Duskborn Skymarcher is the first uncommon, Lookout's Dispersal is the second, and a Seeker's Squire is the third. I don't know if you can tell, but that card is like really light printed, lightly printed over here. Anyway, our rare or mythic in this pack is a Captivating Crew. A really good card, actually. Not, uh, not super valuable in comparison to the other things that we've gotten, but I like this card a lot. If you haven't gotten a chance to use it in limited, I mean, I don't know that you will get the opportunity to, but it's a really good card. <laughs> just saying. Uh, behind it, just a Plains and a Merfolk token. So we petered out a little bit on Ixalan, but good God did we start off strong. And here we are into Rivals of Ixalan now with an Angrath pack to start. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we didn't front load. Hopefully we're just getting it all today. We have a Sanguine Glorifier, Spirewinder, Brazen Freebooter, Jadecraft Artisan, Dusk Legion Zealot, a Knight of the Stampede, Snubhorn Sentry, Kite Sail Corsair, Traveler's Amulet, Evolving Wilds, Riverwise Augur, Golden Demise, and Deadeye Brawler. And our rare or mythic is a Temple Altasaur. I feel like this is like the least opened rare that I've seen. I, I've seen very few of this card 
And it's a pretty sweet card, although it is a rare, but I've seen very, very few of them. Maybe that's just my personal experience. Anyway, behind the Temple Altasaur, a mountain and a vampire token. One last Rivals of Ixalan pack, also an Angrath pack. And inside of it, we have a Stampeding Horn Crest, Raptor Companion, Negate, gorgeous art, oh my god, Guilt Grove Stalker, Voracious Vampire, Plummet, Dark Inquiry, Colossal Dreadmaw, whoops, Luminous Bonds, wouldn't want to skip that one, Sworn Guardian, Forerunner of the Legion is our first uncommon, Charging Tuscadon is the second, and Oath Sworn Vampire is the third. Our last Rivals of Ixalan rare is a Telenali Summoner. Not a terrible card. Look at that headdress. My god. <laughs> Behind it, just a forest and a treasure token. So yes, Ixalan, much more value than Rivals of Ixalan, but we move on to Unstable. And as I said, this time, unlike some of the other prize pack openings we've done, we have two Unstable packs to open today. In the past, it has just been one. Today we have two. And in this pack, we have a Shaggy Camel, Magic Word, Wild Crocodile, Success, Finders Keepers, Feisty Segasaurus, a hazmat suit used, an extremely slow zombie, the autumn version, a knight of the kitchen sink, give you a second to take a look at which one it is, but it's our first uncommon, slaying mantis, love this card, insect wrestler creature, and a ninja for one of the augment cards, and our rare or mythic is a masterful ninja. This card is fantastic. It's a troll ninja because, you know, feel free to look at that art for a long time looking for the ninja. He's very stealthy. Um, but I like this card a lot. It's super, super good. Behind the Masterful Ninja is a mountain. And then we have our contraptions. First is an uncommon contraption in Jamming Device and a common contraption in Sap Sucker. And our token is a one of the uh, unstable specific tokens in the gnome and like all of the tokens it is in foil but like the only the uncommon or the uh, unstable specific tokens if you flip it over it's got a little fun color this image truth is not black and white uh, aesthetics test number 342 on the back so there you go like i said one more unstable pack it has x on the front i like x quite a bit X gonna be given to you, if you didn't know that. And if you don't understand what that means, read what the card does. Okay, very good. We have a Defective Detective, Squirrel Dealer, Shaggy Camel, Magic Word, Snickering Squirrel, Work a Double, Sacrifice Play, Amateur Auteur, and this is the Ravnica one, Buzzing Wackadoodle is our first uncommon, I love this card so much. Clever Combo is the second, and a Robo Augment card is the third. And our Rare or Mythic in our second Unstable pack is a Mary O'Kill. Not bad. I like that. I don't have a bunch, I don't have a, a ton of her, so that's pretty cool. Mary O'Kill. Behind Mary, we have a Mountain, Gorgeous Lands. I don't mean to gloss over it, but Gorgeous Lands. An Arms Depot Uncommon Contraption. Whoops and a Boom Flinger common contraption. And as you saw, we have another unstable specific creature token in the Construct token with the allusion to um, Don Quixote story, which I love. I love that story very, very much. Go fight that windmill. Anyway, and on the back is the test number 162 visualization, the technology to rebuild him. Finally within my grasp. Ha 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 ha. Reconstruct this image. It is a connect the dots game. So there you go. Last but not least, we started off with a lot of value. Will we end with a lot of value? We have an Iconic Masters pack. Let's see what this one has in store for us. We've gotten some lucky pulls in Iconic Masters. I will not lie to you. Here is a Manalik. Hammerhand. Doomed Traveler. Mnemonic Wall, Dead Reveler, Ivy Elemental, Mannequin, Battle Rattle Shaman, 
a Dragon Bell Monk, Wall of Roots, Skywise Teachings is the first uncommon, a Kolagon Monument is the second, and a Dragonloft Idol is the third, and the Rare or Mythic from Iconic Masters is... <laughs> yeah! Ha ha ha! Thoughtseize, very nice. Not insanely valuable, but definitely better than a lot of the other things that we've opened today and a lot of the things that you could open in Iconic Masters. So I am more than happy with Thoughtseize. Original art, gorgeous card. There you go. There's also a foil in every pack. Will I be happier or it's just regular content? Nope, just regular content. We have a foil common in Splatter Thug. Actually, sweet foiling pattern though. That is awesome. Look at the mask on that guy plus the stuff coming off him in the back there. That is really cool. So, behind the Splatter Thug, a Beast token. Guys, this was sweet. Uh, I am going to show you the things that we got today because why wouldn't I? Um, we started off with a foil rare in Telenali Skin Shifter with some sweet foiling. Then we got a Mythic in Vona, Butcher of Magan. And then we got a Foil Rare in the same pack with Vona, with the Conqueror's Galleon. And we ended right where I wanted to end <laughs> with a Thought Seize. Very, very nice way to end it. Thank you guys. If you've been hanging out throughout all of these prize pack openings, thank you. If this is your first, nonetheless, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what kind of a luck sack you think I am in the comments down below, because I was a little bit surprised if you didn't notice. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed. When the logo pops up on the screen, our logo, you can click that and you can subscribe to our channel. It will tell you when all of our videos come out. We have product openings like this every Monday, and we have story reviews with my fiance Amy and I every Thursday. And you guys should definitely come back and check those out. It helps us out a lot. And hopefully you enjoy them and keep coming back. Once again, this has been another product opening here on Geek For All. I have been Joe. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks so much, everybody.